tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The MI24P earns a bit of hindsight. The Mosquito brings a new standard for 3D modeling. The Viper takes its place under the spotlight. And we dive in the newly released F16 roadmap. This and more on how I play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and today we are going to take a look at the latest news from the world of Digital Combat Simulator. And we start the show with the confirmed improvements to the external model of the Mosquito FB Mark 6, the fighter bomber variant of the iconic DH-98 Mosquito that is getting ready to reach our virtual skies this year. Using newly acquired blueprints, ED has improved their 3D modeling techniques that result in a finer detail of the modeling, and small rivets, welds and fabric are now visible in great detail. We can expect that in time, older modules will be adapted with the latest modeling techniques, according to ED, it's just a matter of time. In early access stage, the Mosquito will have different skins available, including those used in the famous Operation Jericho on the 18th of February 1944. More precise, an LI bombing rate at very low altitude on Amiens prison in German-occupied France to rescue French resistance prisoners. In a comment reply, ED confirmed that weathering will be added as well, so expect some dirty and worn birds on the virtual World War battlefield. Work will be focused on finalizing the bulge bomb bay fairing and hydraulic bomb doors, the wing pylons and external fuel tanks. This will allow the Mosquito Mark 6 to carry two 500-pound bombs internally with fins cropped to fit, plus another two under the wings. The more details we get on the Mosquito, the more we want. It will be great to see this magnificent bird be finally released in DCS world. And we continue with the news, this time regarding the Mi24P Hind. ED mentioned that even though the majority of the Heinz development team are currently having a well-deserved vacation, good for them, they will still deliver a number of improvements in the upcoming patch. Now I got very excited to see that we will get a fully remodeled Pilot Operator ATGM side picture. The improved site will use a new auxiliary camera instead of the MFD indicator functionality. Now that sounds good. All textures for the site were also redrawn in higher resolution, providing better frame rates and visual quality. And check this out, it's like they heard my comments when I was in VR doing the ATGM tutorial. The VR implementation of the ATGM site is on high priority too, and will now occupy the whole viewport with some free movement to reduce motion sickness. Yes! Igor, take the bucket away! I don't need it anymore. Yes, master! Also, dampening has been added to remove small twitches of VR motion sensors affecting the side picture. And they are currently testing more options for switches, which previously were only toggles, as well as fixes for those commands that were not mappable to controllers. Joking aside, I am very glad to hear all of this and yes, one of my worries was the ATGM side in VR, now I am looking forward to see these changes. We continue with good news for our Viper enthusiasts. ED are improving the external damage model for the F-16C Viper, the new damage model provides better ballistic tracking and more detail effects to sloped sheet metal. And we cannot miss admiring the realistic representation of wing damage. Eagle Dynamics mentioned that the F-16 development is again at an accelerated pace. And as they focused on bug fixing in the first half of 2021, from now they will also be adding new features. And so we are presented with the F-16C Viper roadmap, covering the present and future development until the end of 2021 and a bit more. And we start with the features already released this year. The AGM-65 Maverick, air-to-ground missiles designed for close air support, available with the following versions. Version D, with an imaging infrared system which doubled the practical firing distance and allowed for its use at night and during bad weather. It also features a reduced smoke rocket engine and it achieved this initial operation capability in 1983. Version G has the same guidance system as the D, with some software modification that enables the pilot to track larger targets. The G model's major difference is the heavier penetrator warhead taken from the Maverick E. It completed tests in 1988. Then we have version H. An AGM-65B and D missile, upgraded with a new charge coupled device, the CCD, a seeker better suited for the desert environment. 
And last, the K model, which is an upgraded AGM65G. Moving on with the POS and HAS modes for the AGM-88C high-speed anti-radiation missile better known as HARM. Then the GBU-31 and GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munition or JDAM, the AGM-154A Joint Standoff Weapon or JSAW, the BRU-57A Smart Rack that incorporates the BRU-46 Pyrotechnic Racks and doubles the number of smart weapons that can be carried by a single station. The VV and VAH HUD option that enable the VVI indicator tape and change the bank angle indicator. Added vertical velocity scale with landing gear down, rad alt and alt low windows are now hidden with the switch set to off. And the vertical velocity scale position is now adjusted. Short pause over here, I found a very interesting reference library for the F16C and I linked it in the video description for those of you curious about the hood remote control panel. And lastly, the famous travel pod. Get your golf clubs, whiskey and anything you need for travel. Next up are the planned features that are to be delivered by the end of 2021. Keeping in mind that all the information available today is subject to change in the future. ED mentioned that some of the features required a lot of effort and time, while other features are not as complex and can be completed sooner. Basically, they will start work with the highest ranked and feasible features and continue to bring to us more and more Viper functionality. And first on the list is the flight model and FLCS tuning. Focusing on angle of attack and G, it will result in a more accurate sustained turn, more instant turn performance and acceleration. Then the harm targeting system or HTS pod and harm attack display. More air-to-air -air radar improvements with DTT SAM mode, bullseye and intercept steering queue. Landing and takeoff handling tuning. GHMCS support for the radar warning receiver. Link 16 and air-to-ground mode. And the electronic countermeasures with the ALQ-131 and 184 ECM pods and the FCR jamming indications. And for the air-to-ground radar, ground map, expand, DBS modes, fixed target track, ground moving target, snowplow, C and AGR modes. Then the semi-automatic and automatic countermeasure programs, mark points, HOTAS steer point selection, latitude and longitude and MGRS coordinate selection, the CBU-103 and 105 wind corrected munition dispenser and the horizontal situation display cursor or HSD. Now, for a bit of a treat, ED released more information on further development for the Viper that will come into 2022 with the following list. A correct offset logic and improving display clarity for the targeting pod. And for those of you worried about it, the Sniper XR targeting pod that provides positive target identification, autonomous tracking, GPS coordinate generation and precise weapon guidance from extended standoff ranges. So yes, dear friends, the Sniper XR target pod is still in the play. Moving on, the date transfer cartridge or DTC and mission planner. My CP modes, cross time fix ACAL dust and bull dead pages. Now they mention that of these, cross will be the highest priority. Now we got the RWR handoff PRF tones, the HUD toss anticipation queue, and the desired HUD airspeed carrot for cross mode. Then they mentioned the GBU-24 Paveway 3, the Paveway Guidance Package that consists of a seeker package attached to the nose of the weapon and a wing kit attached to the rear to provide stability and greater range. Moving on with more remaining bombing modes, DTOS Man and LAD, DTOS being on the high priority list and the large MK-84 Air Low Drag General Purpose Bomb. Then we got Wing Fuel Tank Pylon Jettison Correction, the ALE-50 Toad Decoy, the FCS Bid Animations, BDU-50 Training Bombs, Jet Fuel Starter, GFS Door Animation and an alternative landing gear handle. In 2022, they also plan on adding the Cockpit View Pilot Model, the Animated Tail Hook, the Airshow Smoke Pods, ACM Slew Mode and a Radar Velocity Search Mode. Now we talked about the Viper in a previous video and we were expecting the roadmap to be released and here it is, same as we mentioned that the Hornet is with one foot, wheel, whatever wing out of early access and as promised by ED, more focus getting shifted to the Viper. Music to our ears. And sticking with the Viper, we present to you the new DCS F16i Sufa mod also known as Storm. 
a modified variant of the F-16D Block 52 fighter and ground attack aircraft. With the avionics and weapon system capability modified to meet the requirements of the Israeli Air Force in a two-seat configuration only, the production program called Peace Marble 5 is the fifth acquisition of the F-16s. The Storm model is fitted with a pair of removable conformal fuel tanks, holding 415 gallons of extra fuel and mounted on both sides of the upper fuselage. The very low drag configuration has a very small effect on the aircraft's agility, handling quality and flight limits, and as you expect, the use of the conformal tanks increase the aircraft's mission range and combat endurance, and Station 6 and 4 are available for weapon carriage, doubling the aircraft's air-to-ground weapons capacity. And I want to add that it also makes the Viper look even more deadly. The F-16I Sufa is fitted with a dorsal avionics compartment that houses additional systems, chaff and flare dispensers and the aircraft's in-flight refueling receptacle. And the stars of the show are the air-to-air -air Python 4 and Python 5 missiles, with the last one being one of the most advanced in the world, capable of lock-on after launch, it uses imaging infrared guidance and a full sphere all direction including rearwards attack ability. Should I repeat that? Full sphere, all direction including rearward attack ability. Now we got limited time with the mod, but our fellow YouTuber Gronin Sidewinder made an amazing video about the capabilities of the Python missiles and you will be impressed. Link is in the video description. And that's it for today, hope everyone is doing well, make sure you check out our first race in the Rotor Hip Championship, where the hind goes against the hip. More content is about to be released very soon. In the real world, next weekend I finally get to step back on stage presenting a classical show. But do not worry that this won't affect our on the spot news. So if you find our video informative, please give us a like and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest information from your favorite simulators and games. I'm Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.